the expert I'm talking to now is Franz Köbinger. He's responsible for marketing in cybersecurity for industry. Franz, great you're here with me now. You're at the exhibit. So how important is cybersecurity for a digital enterprise? Yeah, it's very important because digitalization means um, more connectivity, more data, but this means on the other side, you have also more cyber threats because it is getting easier and more lucrative for hackers. So in regards of um, industrial operations, I guess it's even more dangerous compared to we take care of our private phones and the computers at home. But what about industrial operations? Yes, of course, because uh, you can get a production loss uh, by disturbance and due to a cyber attack. And uh, so the, the damage can be very, very great. And so you need also to consider specific preconditions in the uh, in the OT, the operational technology. And therefore you need also specific cyber security measures against these threats. Okay, so can you show me these measures, what you're doing here? As I understand, you cannot really avoid any incidents, but you can try to prevent them or make the damage as little as possible. Yeah, um, you, in our opinion, we need a holistic approach. It's not only done uh, by a single security measure, you need also uh, as, as, as a security on different layers. It means you have to secure your network, but you have also to use integrated security functionalities inside uh, the automation systems. And uh, also uh, another level said you protect your whole network, for example, by monitoring uh, the communication. So you uh, can detect in an early stage cyber attacks and to prevent them to be successful. Okay, now let's deep dive into your topic. I can tell you're on fire to show me what your um, devices and apps can do. Yeah, uh, what, what we here show is uh, our defense and depth concept and uh, said this can and should be applied to different industries. It's always, uh, you said you get a multi-layered cybersecurity concept. Maybe you have different uh, priorities in different uh, uh, yeah, industries. For example, water wastewater is a critical infrastructure and uh, as they need a secure remote access. Uh, automotive or food and beverage have large networks and they need to uh, secure the, uh, the interfaces to the network. But uh, you have also always to consider network security, the system integrity of the automation systems, and planned security measures like a security monitoring. Um, you said you have um, this panel here, and yeah. you can show us some. And this is like the verticals we are offering. It's automotive, food and beverage, water and wastewater, machine building, and then, of course, the holistic approach for the digital enterprise as such. So we can uh, we can show you it's in every vertical about plant security, network security, and system integrity. And uh, here are the, uh, the different main use cases, like I said, uh, TMZ and cell protection for the large networks. And um, this um, is always also valid for. Uh, for other industry, and uh, the reason why why it is necessary up to the, uh, is due to the connectivity of the automation systems. Because now also a controller has an IP address is part of the IoT, and uh, for, for that you have uh, the OTID conversions, and uh, so it is necessary to protect uh, the automation systems more than years before. Okay, absolutely understood. And with all the data increasing and we try to analyze everything, but um, on the other side, all this data is, is laying somewhere, so it needs to be safe. Would you say that there is a vertical out of these, which we are just um, placing here, which is in most danger? Um, no, but uh, some are so-called critical infrastructures. And um, so, uh, so cyber attacks, uh, which uh, can be uh, successful in these critical infrastructures, uh, can also affect uh, the society. And therefore, it is absolutely necessary that they uh, have the best protection they, uh, they can get. But also in other, um, in, in other industries, uh, like automotive and so on, the, uh, the harm due to uh, cyber attacks can be uh, large. And so it is also necessary to, to protect them because it is always uh, cheaper to, uh, to have a, a good security uh, inside than, uh, than you have be hacked and then you have to uh, the, the damage. 
Um, the thing is that that's what is a question what I always raise. Is it just important for a big enterprise, for a big company to invest in cybersecurity or is it also important for small ones uh, that they try to be safe? It's also important for small ones. Maybe they think they are not so big and they get not hacked, but um, say cyber threats uh, don't make uh, some um, uh, difference between big and, uh, and uh, not so big companies. So, uh, every everybody gets attacked, and uh, even for a small company, it can be more crucial because if they cannot produce, so they have not uh, the, the possibilities like a large company, and uh, they they need. Um, also uh, to protect them, but um, maybe they lack the knowledge. So uh, large companies have the possibility to have large IT departments with IT security experts, but uh, so smaller companies need maybe also support uh, from from outside. Um, but this is possible. We also we can offer this, and therefore uh, also small companies need uh, cyber security. How long does it take? from like you you get the request of a company to look into their security system which they already have in regards to that they improve it um, is that a time frame of let's say a week that you look into all their data and then security totally, systems totally dif different usually you start with a um, yeah uh, with an assessment or um, a yeah, uh, uh, risk analysis, so you get an overview of what's necessary. Some uh, companies maybe have already some security um, um, measures installed, uh, other are at the beginning, and so it is a little bit different, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it is not um, yeah, rocket science, so it's possible uh, to, to get in a, in a in near time uh, a good protection. Is there a favorite project of yours where you say that was really fun to work on and kind of develop a, a good strategy for a company? Oh, no, no, it's, um, yeah, uh, if, if we can say so, uh, we are successful to prevent cyber attacks. So if we detect cyber attacks in an early stage, for example, due to anomaly detection, so uh, this gives us uh, the feedback that this is useful what we do.